I guess that kind of leads into the next, you know, next question is like about, I think it was a month ago we talked and we remember we had that talk about having more believers on our phones than, than unbelievers in our lives. And we're just like, so, you know, it's so wrapped up in the bubble and, and how during COVID, even for us, like we lost sight of the mission, you know, that, you know, because we talk about the church this way, and I think people can just think, gather, 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 internal, internal, internal. But like thirteen, asking, what what have you seen in Hong Kong and through your time? What have you seen in regards to the mission? What's changed? What has the Lord shown you? Mm. Yeah. You know, like when I first came to San Francisco, you know, I'm just walking the streets, sharing with whoever, and it was great. You know, we're knocking on doors. Um, we're kind of doing the exact same thing here in a lot of ways. Like, uh, you know, I had those SROs in the, in the TL uh, here, like right across the street from my house, you know, are these subdivided homes where, you, you know, they'll get an apartment and then they'll they'll put like metal cages in there almost. I mean, it's crazy how people will live like stacked up. And, and so we're going, you know, we're trying to give support however we can. We're, we're even trying to come up with solutions to help people um, sharing the gospel. And there's still like the same kind of coldness to the gospel, maybe a little bit more openness, but uh uh, so some of those things haven't changed. Uh, I guess a lot hasn't changed because I still, you know, when I, I, I almost, in a lot of ways, I just want to always be out there doing that. Um, and I feel so much peace when I'm out doing that, but there's also this other calling where it's not one or the other. Um, I just, there's something about the church operating the way it should that there is a collective witness to the world. Uh, that if someone, like the church was supposed to be what proved to people. Like, you want proof that Jesus is real? Or my church. Um, right now, it's the opposite of that. Everyone, I know our church sucks, but Jesus is real. You know, the way it was supposed to be, they were supposed to come in and see a unity in the church, a power in all of these people to where they, okay, that couldn't have been accomplished apart from something supernatural. Because I see the division in the, in the world and I see uh, gifted, rich people with talent um, in the world, but I don't see this type of unity and I don't see these manifestations of something supernatural going on there. So there's something we can't just be out sharing the gospel on our own. That wasn't God's plan. There was something about the witness, the testimony of his body. This would be something the world hadn't seen. And so absolutely should we all be out in the world and have relationships with these people and, and share the gospel on our own. Amen. I would just add to that, that I'm just learning that unless there's a, a church that is living, you know, we're calling them because we're, we're, they're not being saved just into a relationship with God. It's as Christ is our head and we are his body. You're being called into a body. And that's why everything we teach, I just feel is so significant is because for too many years, we've been calling people into a personal relationship with Jesus. And the reason is because the church hasn't been a body. It hasn't even been a family. Um, it's just been a place where people go to hear the word of God. And that's not bad, but I don't call that a church. And I don't call that a body. Uh, if you're not feeling the pain that your arm is feeling over there, um, 
Christ has called us into something so amazing. You know, that Ephesians 5 passage still blows to my mind that, ah, it's like, God, give me faith to believe this from the core of my being that we are members of your body. That is such an intense statement when he says, I'm a member of his body and he nourishes and cherishes me like I would a member of my body. Jesus says that to me. That's no little side note or acute analogy. Uh, that is that is come on himself. And so now we have to equally uh, believe that about one another to where, dude, if you're ever in need of anything, man, I count it as the same as me feeling that same need. Um, that's what he wants of us. And I believe that's what we have. And, and so if I can see God create that again here in Hong Kong, I just think um, that's, that's what's going to impact people according to his word.